Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, please remember to like this video and subscribe. Okay, today I'm going to share with you my favorite bread recipe. This is like an everyday bread that you can make sandwiches out of or toast or just about anything. It's really great. So let's get started. We're going to start by mixing one quarter cup of sugar and one and three quarters tablespoon of active dry yeast. Then we're going to mix in two cups of warm water. And now we just let that sit. We want the yeast and the sugar and the water to interact and do their thing and start getting nice and frothy. This will take probably about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, that looks good. So now that our yeast mixture is nice and frothy, we're going to add in one and a half teaspoons of salt and one quarter cup of vegetable oil. Then I just start mixing it up. And it's at this point we add our last ingredient, six cups of all-purpose flour. Now I do this by adding about a cup at a time and just kind of scraping the sides of the bowl and making sure everything's mixed up. And once I've added all of the flour, I go in with my hands and hand mix it to make sure that all the dry bits at the bottom get incorporated into the mixture. And then we just let it sit. Now I don't do a lot of kneading. I don't do a lot of punching and rolling and all of that. It's very minimal. Then I'll take some paper towels, wet them with some warm water and put them on top. You don't want the towels drenched, you want it kind of damp, and that just helps keep some moisture in. Then we let it sit for about an hour and wait for the dough to rise. And voila, our dough has risen and we're gonna just kind of mix it down, punch it down. It's gonna shrink in size and we're just gonna mix it up a little bit. For my bread loaves, I use these vintage glass Pyrex bread pans. They are perfect, they're lovely. I got them at a thrift store a long time ago and they are the best. I use some butter to grease the sides and the bottom and you'll want to make sure it's really evenly coated, like get into every nook and cranny. Um, it'll just make your life so much easier when you're removing the bread later. Once that's done, I throw in some flour and shake it along the sides and make sure it's fully coated on top of that butter. Because if you just put butter or oil, your bread is gonna be soggy. But if you put that layer of flour there, it really absorbs the excess moisture and then still allows you to take the bread out of the pan. At this point, we divide the dough in half, put one half in one pan, the other half in the other pan, and then we cover them again with a damp paper towel, and then we let them rise again for about 45 minutes. Now our dough has risen again, and the final step is to put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And our bread loaves are complete. This is how we always make bread at my house. Let me know what your favorite bread recipe is in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. 